Hi Sagittarius, thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you are doing well. This is for any sun, moon, or rising Sagittarius. We're going to take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the big ideas or the awareness for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. I will also choose a few oracle cards for additional information. So let's get started with your reading. Okay, so let me just get these centered up here. So we have the Judgment card, Major Arcana. We have the Seven of Swords and we have the Ace of Wands. With the Judgment card, we, we see the angel here blowing the horn. And the people are rising up out of the mist and uh, raising their hands to the sky and looking up to the sky and so when we see judgment it's really a call to you it's a call to you to review your life to review your actions to get a sense of the you know the life that you're leading where are you right now are you uh, fulfilling your purpose in life? Are you feeling that you're fulfilling your purpose? Are you feeling satisfied or content with uh, your activities, your job, your relationships? You know, are they helping you be the best person that you can be? And so with judgment, there's the sense that yes, we're, we're judging our own life. We are taking stock. We're taking time to reflect and to consider what we've done in the past, have our actions had a, an effect on where we are now, and are we willing or desiring to change and to uh, change the course for the future? Because with judgment, you get a sense here that there's the opportunity for rebirth, there's the opportunity for second chances. Just because you're in a difficult situation doesn't mean that you're trapped there for life, that you can take modest steps to try to improve and to try to find contentment and to try to find joy. But there really is a sense here of the judgment and the taking stock of, of what you know, what you've been doing for the past however many years. And as you can see with these people rising up, you know, it's joyful to entertain the ideas that you can shift and to modify what you've been doing or how you've been living to make it better. So that's, you know, th that's a big idea for the day is really kind of thinking about what, you know, where you are, where have you been, what are you hoping to do, kind of touching base with yourself there. And then we have the Seven of Swords. We see this a hooded man making off with, with some swords, leaving some behind. So this is a card where it looks like he doesn't want to get caught. And, uh, the Seven of Swords often to go straight to the word deception, trickery, someone trying to pull something over you, uh, perhaps trying to be someone that they're not. And so with the Seven of Swords, it's keep your eye open in, in your relationships and the things that you say and, and whether that's your personal relationship or your work relationships or your hobby buddies, it's to be mindful that sometimes people don't always have the integrity or the sincerity when they're dealing with you. And so take it for what it's worth. And so there may be a scenario, there may be a situation where there is uh, something doesn't quite seem right. In the extreme could be someone very boldly trying to do something and pull one over. And so you have to have 
the eyes and the awareness for when uh, that feeling that may be feeling something doesn't feel right and to tune in and to listen to what people say and to uh, see how their actions are in alignment with what they say. So the Seven of Swords, interesting, making off, you know, kind of escaping in a way with what he needs. and Maybe he needs those swords to, to carry on. But it's really a sense of, um, of, of things not as what they seem, of, of taking something perhaps, of pulling one over someone's um, you know, interactions, just trying to, to um, perhaps get away with something. And then we have the Ace of Wands. And in the Ace of Wands, I'm struck in this illustration by the glowing fire, lava-ish, here at the bottom. Because it really is, shows that this, this power is hot to handle. And the, the Ace of Wands is powerful. It's your gift, it's your blessing that the universe is handing to you directly telling you to get out there and to do things, to make things happen. Do not sit by and watch others have all the fun or watch others get involved or to take risks or to do things. You think about what your passions are, what you really like doing in life and take steps to do that. Be creative, be inspired, be energetic. Let your ambition flow. You know, drive to those things that you want to accomplish. I think that's what the Ace of Wands brings into our lives and our situations and our, you know, how, uh, you know, how we think about, how we think about manifesting, how we think about introducing new opportunities into our life. The Ace of Wands is a way to help. So let's take a look at the numerology. We have 20, 27, 28, and that's 10, and that reduces to one. One is about beginning, beginnings, inspiration. It's about leadership and originality. And then I'm going to choose an oracle card for a little bit more information. Interesting though, as I'm shuffling here, we're getting a big rainstorm. <laughs> Thinking about judgment and the rainstorm. Hmm. Receive healing. So receive healing is allow yourself to heal. Provide yourself the time and the place. That's just going to be how it is. Um, the space, the, the time, the mindset to allow yourself to heal. To be good to yourself, be kind to yourself. Uh, try to spend time with the people that are supporting you, that believe in you and have faith in you, versus the others that only come to you when they need something. So receive healing is let the magic flow through you and uh, find a way, you know, everyone's path to healing is different. Some may heal quicker with nature, some may heal quicker with art or with music. And so find what works for you and, and uh, meditate and think about what it is to make yourself feel better. And again, as I said earlier in the week, to raise your own vibration. So I hope that you found something here today that helped you with this reading. And if you did, please subscribe like, share, or comment, and I hope that you have a super Tuesday, and I'll see you tomorrow.
拜拜。